even CNN is at the point where it can't completely, totally ignore reality. As much as it tries, you know what, maybe it's the eclipse, maybe it's the earthquake from the other day, suddenly they're actually talking some sense, or at least having a guest on one of their programs that makes some sense. I, I told you last week about this Judge Marshawn, Laura Loomer, who's been all over this story. Story. She was, she was here as a guest the other day, and she told me, no, it's Trish, it's Marshawn. I keep wanting to say Merchant. But anyway, Judge Marshawn, he has a daughter, and this daughter actually makes her living by, well, working with Democrats. Hey, you know what? I guess it's an honest living <laughs> for some, I mean, I, I, some of you may doubt that, but you know what? That's her job. She's a strategist and she works for these Democrat campaigns and she brings in a lot of money. Like she's fundraising for them with social media campaigns, with email campaigns, all this kind of stuff, like for Adam Schiff and Kamala Harris. And so, okay, you know, she's got her gig and you might say she's entitled to that, but wouldn't it make sense to you if you were the judge in the Trump hush money story, you know, this saga, the one with Stormy Daniels, wouldn't you think that maybe it's sort of inappropriate that your daughter is a fundraiser for Democrats and has quite literally fundraised off of every little nuance that's going on in the trial that you're about to make a decision on. I mean, wouldn't that kind of just strike you as a little bit of a problem, a little bit of an ethical breach? Seems that way to me. Apparently not to judge Marshawn. I mean, I, I'm just looking at this, guys, and I just, there's so much wrong here. <laughs> but let's just start here with this. The judge that's going to hear this case has a daughter who clearly has a bias. And even if nothing else, wouldn't you just say this? The judge doesn't exactly look squeaky clean because of who his family relation is. I, I'm not the only one saying this. I want you to hear this judge from New York who went on to CNN and told CNN straight to the anchor reporter's face there that this is not looking so good. Take a peek. And they have put together a composite of issues that would cause me a little bit of pause. And I can explain all the various things that they've put together. The main focus of this motion, as opposed to the previous one a year ago, which the judge denied, is on the daughter's line of work. As you already said, the daughter does work with many, many high profile Democratic candidates. She works on their social media. They put out a post, they get contributions. She as an owner gets a percentage of those contributions. So there is a statute in New York, which says a judge must disqualify himself. If a person known uh, by the judge to be within the sixth degree of relationship and a daughter is the first degree, has an interest that could be substantially affected by the outcome of the proceeding. So the question here is, is this daughter likely to profit, to benefit from the outcome of this proceeding? And you have to understand, it's not actual conduct that's worrisome. It's the appearance, the appearance to a reasonable person that this judge cannot be fair and impartial given that relationship. So ordinarily, I would think that a benefit financially would be to a spouse because they share the income. This is an independent adult daughter. They don't share income. But according to this, according to this statute, according to this statute, the judge must recuse if she would substantially benefit from the outcome. So that's one thing that concerned me. But if you add to that a few other facts that are of concern, at least to me, was the judge's original contribution to uh, President Biden four years ago, which he made himself, very small contribution, $35. Yeah, I think it was ten dollars, right? $35, $35, I'm told, $35, uh, a small contribution, but he made it through AtBlue himself on the internet. He did give an interview where he said he wouldn't comment on the case, but then he said he's been intensely preparing and he wants to be fair and impartial and justice is important. He and his daughter discussed the former president's use of social media, which the judge condemned in that discussion and, and she, the daughter reported on it. The Office of Court Administration said the daughter's Twitter account ended a year ago. So any recent uh, 
posts on that were not from the daughter. Yeah. And I kind of wondered well, why I... the Office of Court Administration was defending the daughter. So there, if you put all these together, is my point. It, it's certainly enough that maybe a reasonable person could have a doubt about impartiality. So I think it's kind of a serious motion. I realize it's 10 days before the trial and don't expect it to be granted. Oh, gosh. If it's not granted, though, you understand what it does? I mean, you heard her say it, it affects people's perception of how impartial the judge is or isn't, period. And to me, that's everything, right? Because you need to have faith in the system. You can't have a, a system where people don't believe anything that happens or they just assume it all gets down to politics, which is what Americans believe, frankly, right now. I mean, look, they haven't been able to stick anything on them. And they keep coming back and they keep trying and then they're going to try with this guy who's clearly biased and we know his political bias and his daughter is benefiting financially. I didn't even realize that about the six degrees of separation. I mean, it seems a little bit onerous, right? Like if you know anyone in your six degrees that's actually benefiting off of something, that's pretty strong. Well, this girl, she's, she's pushing $93 million, allegedly, according to the New York Post, the, the client's of this woman, well, she, they, they raised a lot of money off of the Stormy Daniels thing and a few other cases along the way. So it makes it really, really awkward. And then you combine in a whole bunch of other things. You heard her mention the tweet. You know, Laura's been all over that story, as I told you. And uh, the, the daughter says, well, that Twitter account has been closed. We don't know the answer on that, but the whole thing just certainly seems suspicious. And you know what? You don't even need to go there. I'll tell you, this is pretty simple. Ladies and gentlemen, you got a judge whose daughter works for Adam Schiff and Kamala Harris and the DNC. And therefore, this guy should not be presiding over this case. End of story. It's very clear cut. You want to factor in his contribution to Biden and the rest of it. OK, you can go on. But you've got something there and it's not acceptable and it's not right. And Americans should be speaking up because how can we possibly trust this? Let's assume you hate Trump. OK, Let, let's go with that. You can't stand the guy and you want him to go away forever. Do you really want this judge to be the one to do it? Because you know that everybody's going to say, well, that was biased. That was political. He was the guy whose daughter makes her living off of fundraising for Adam Schiff, and by the way, was able to raise a whole ton of money. Judge, buddy, you got an ethical violation. It's a huge ethical violation. Your daughter, your daughter is making way too darn much money off of none other than, uh, well, I mean, she doesn't exist really in, in the same way, shape or form without the ability to fundraise off of her dad's case. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, people. I'm sorry. This is a very clear cut situation. He needs, he needs to recuse himself or somebody does. Now, what does it mean if he does get recused? You heard the judge go on CNN, another retired judge go on CNN. And her, her view was, look, here we are just a few days out from the case. It's probably not going to happen. But it could happen. It should happen. And if it does happen, all that means is that they've got to go back. They've got to find a new judge. And so he buys a little bit more time. They, of course, are deliberately trying to time all these things so that he cannot campaign, that he's going to get stuck in all this litigation. And as much as they try that, I got to tell you, it keeps backfiring. It's like this boomerang effect, really significant boomerang effect, because Every time he's in trouble, well, what do you know? <laughs> we get another poll that says he's doing even better. So if I'm him, I'm like, okay, you guys bring it on. America sees how tough, how strong I am because I'm willing to fight this in ways that you guys just never, ever anticipated.